As the sun came up over the Hawaiian island of Oahu on December 7, 1941, six Japanese aircraft carriers sat 250 miles to the northwest. That morning, they'd launch over 300 fighter planes and bombers for a surprise attack on the U.S. Pacific Fleet, stationed at Pearl Harbor. It was the culmination of diplomatic tensions that had been building for a decade. Japanese troops are steadily advancing into Manchuria and occupying towns and villages. In 1931, the Japanese invaded Manchuria. It was an early phase of Japan's imperialistic ambitions under the militaristic rule of Emperor Hirohito. And as the 30s wore on, those ambitions grew increasingly aggressive. By 1937, Japan was engaged in an all-out war with China. With the city of Peking already under Japanese control, troops continued to pour into China from Japan. The atrocities that followed, like the Nanking Massacre, which saw hundreds of thousands of Chinese civilians and unarmed soldiers slaughtered by the Japanese Imperial Army, deeply strained relations between the Western world and Japan. President Roosevelt began imposing sanctions and ultimately an oil embargo in July of 1941, after Japan moved into French Indochina. By then, plans for an attack on Pearl Harbor were well underway. The Japanese considered America's presence in the Pacific a threat to their conquest of Southeast Asia. And under the guidance of Admiral Iso Roku Yamamoto, began making preparations for a preemptive strike. Throughout 1941, Japan and the U.S. made several attempts to improve relations, but negotiations continually failed, and certain the U.S. would interfere with their own interests, Japan made a resolute decision to go to war with the West. On November 26, 1941, the Japanese Imperial Navy strike force left Japan. Six aircraft carriers, carrying 408 aircraft. Meanwhile, the Americans were receiving vague intelligence about a possible Japanese attack and expected it to happen somewhere in Southeast Asia. On December 1st, Emperor Hirohito gave his final authorization to strike Pearl Harbor. And six days later, on December 7th, the attack commenced. The first wave swooped in at 7.55 in the morning. 183 planes led by torpedo bombers targeted battleships and aircraft carriers. Then dive bombers went after air bases. A second wave followed, 171 planes coming from all directions. They continued the onslaught, pummeling battleships, hangars, and airfields. It was over in two hours and 20 minutes. Out of a clear sky came the treacherous Japanese attack on Hawaii. The homes of Waikiki, famous in song, are burning fiercely from the bombs dropped by those planes. The whole world knows now how Japan assaulted the American naval base without warning without a declaration of war, and while her envoys were actually negotiating in Washington. The Japanese accomplished complete surprise. Nearly 2,500 Americans were dead. Several battleships destroyed, others damaged, and half the island's aircraft obliterated. By the time President Roosevelt was made aware of the attack, the Japanese were well on their way back to mainland Japan. At Pearl Harbor, at Hickam Field, in the bomb-pocked streets of Honolulu, ever is written history. History with a tragic, treacherous pen. History that 130 million Americans will never forget. Hours after the attack, President Roosevelt spoke with British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, and short of an official declaration, made it clear that America had been thrust into the Second World War. 
Roosevelt spent the rest of the evening meeting with his cabinet and drafting a speech to be delivered in front of Congress the following day. Meanwhile, during her weekly scheduled radio broadcast, the First Lady, Eleanor Roosevelt, addressed the nation on the task that lie ahead. It was a rallying cry for the united effort it would take to win the war. We know what we have to face, and we know that we are ready to face it. We are the free and unconquerable people of the United States of America. The U.S. had been pushed to the brink of war, and Japan would soon rue the day it attacked Pearl Harbor. <laughs>